seriously. Welcome to your video by DJ SPRC. Today, I want to show you how to repair your body on the cheap side and try to prolong it a little bit longer than normal. We do have a body here made of a little Lexan, polyurethane, should I say? Uh, that's cracked here. Now, this body is cracked at multiple places. It's an old body that I have from my uh, SCTE. What I'm gonna show you how to fix it with, is with Shugu and wall repair fiberglass tape. Basically, this tape is for drywall. When you drywall over uh, two joints, you can use this to reinforce. We're gonna use this for this body here. We're gonna open the tape here. Put that aside. One of the first thing I would suggest is basically grab any kind of tape just to put it outside here, just to hold it together. I have just some normal packing tape here. And what I'm gonna do is just lay it on top here, just to keep it together. This can be removed after. Now inside here, and one of the biggest reason is Shugu is a little bit like a silicone. When you apply it, you want to smooth it all around and you don't want any cracks. Now we're gonna grab our fiber tape here. Grab a pair of scissors. Remove the end we don't need. And measure roughly what we need and the fiberglass tape stays together itself and it is sticky on one side and it does contour the shape Some people leave it this way, but I don't. I add the shugu. And one of the reasons of the you want to use shugu compared to uh, silicone, things like that, shugu sticks pretty much anywhere and stays flexible. Basically what I do is I grab the shugu And pretty much go anywhere where there's the crack is to fill the shugu itself and the mesh tape. Now there's a couple of ways you could apply this. You could use your finger, put a glove on. I just use the physical. physical tube itself and the other thing to make sure you are in a well ventilated place Shugu has a strong smell and just apply it everywhere some other people, what they suggest to do is you put the shugu, then you put the tape on top of it, and then you continue putting some. I just prefer to put the tape and just dose on top of it after. And now when you're finished putting it everywhere, I clean the, the top. And screw the cap back on. <clears throat> and I just grab something, try to lay it. F Put 
Now, naturally, the shugu, what it's going to do, it's going to flatten itself just by the sheer weight. And yeah, you want to put some, but don't put too much. Too much is like not enough or not enough is too much. Something like that. And basically let it dry by itself. And once it's dry, it's going to stay flexible like the physical body is. And your body's going to hold itself. Now, once this is dry, I will remove the physical tape here. And I'm going to cut the, uh, the ex excess of uh, tape here. I don't know if you guys can see it right now. It just by me moving it, it cracked a little bit. It opened the crack. And that's one of the reasons I say to put a tape outside just to keep your seam tighter once the shugu hardens. And it will be you'll be safe. Now, depending on the temperature where you are, shugu will vary in drying time. Um they say are basically allowed to repair to dry for 24 hours and just leave it for 24 hours and uh, you'll see it. If you guys have any comments or questions, post them below. I'll be glad to answer you guys. If you like this video, hit the, the like button and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks, you guys.